Hello, in this part of the pool party tutorial series I would like to show you how the extractor works. So you have the overview of the pool party semantic suite right here in front of you which shows you that out of a Desaurus you can calculate an entity extractor and this entity extractor further helps you to build up a linked data warehouse which will be shown in another video and also to build semantic search services. So how does the extractor work? Um, for this purpose, we are going to use the Eurowalk Desaurus as an example. So the Eurowalk Desaurus is a multilingual Desaurus of the European Union, uh, published by the Publications Office of the European Union. So we've imported this Desaurus into Pool Party Desaurus Server. You can see here um, the import, the result of the import. So you see it's a well elaborated Desaurus covering all the languages spoken in the European Union uh, with around 7,000 concepts and a lot of alternative labels, synonyms and things like that. Of course, the hierarchical relationship and the non-hierarchical relationship um, is also um, pretty elaborated in these thesaurus. Okay, n the first thing now, what do you have to do to um, make use of these thesaurus for text mining and entity extraction is you uh, have to calculate the extraction model. That can be done in the Desaurus editor right here uh, in this submenu. So I click on refresh extraction module just to show you how long it will take around to have such an extractor in place. So in the meantime, I will tell you the extractor actually is a web service. So what, you, what I will uh, show you in, in a couple of seconds it's just a test environment where you can test the web service, but usually you make use of it um, as an um, agent or as an application. So that the text mining uh, module of Pool Party is something you would include into your um, content management system, for instance, or in your search facility. You can enrich. Um, the indexing pipeline pipeline of your uh, existing search engine and things like that. So you've seen it's uh, finished uh, in the meantime. So I switch over to this um, test form I've mentioned before. So here it can be used as a test, um, as, a, as a service to test what are the results of the um, pool party extractor. And then I will show you the actual web service as well. So you can see um, both um, perspectives on the same thing. So here um, you've got a form, you can fill in some text. This is an example text that just um, uh, retrieved from the news corner of the European Parliament. So that's an article about uh, visa facilitation uh, with Ukraine and Moldova. Moldova. And so that's the text here. And what you have to do, you just pick out the right uh, extractor. So you can see you can run several different extractors. All of them are very domain specific if you want so, and you can um, attach your, let's say, content management system to several uh, extractors if you like. The next thing is here, you can choose the language you would uh, make use of. So in that case, it's an English article. There's also an automatic detection of the language possible, of course. Um, then you can say, okay, how many concepts would you like, uh, you would like to have extracted from the text? A concept is a cost concept, which is already in the thesaurus. So I say, okay, in that case, probably 15 is enough. And you can also extract terms. Terms are not in the thesaurus yet, so I would say it's five is enough. And th those are um, um, terms which could become a concept if you want. So, so you could integrate it into a workflow, like, okay, show me all the new uh, candidate terms which you would like to use to further extend your thesaurus. Okay, that, that's uh, the first round. I, I will explain a little bit the other options you've uh, you've got down here, but just to show you the results first. So, what 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 is the result? The, the result is a um, hundred percent. It's about um, admission of alliance. 
That's the first uh, concept we've found here. Then Ukraine, Parliament, Moldova, civil society, and so on and so forth. What you can see here is the score, which was calculated. It's about the relevancy of the corresponding um, concepts. So it shows, okay, this article is very much about uh, visa and, and things like that, and, and Ukraine, uh, of course. So that, that's calculated here. So you could, for instance, easily display the results as a kind of a, a tech cloud or something to uh, present it to the content managers who would like to make use of it for um, tagging the uh, content. The extracted terms you can see down here. So those are uh, phrases not in the thesaurus yet, for instance. Okay, so that, that's about it. That's the, the um, simplest version. You can see you can extract uh, a lot more if you like. So I will explain that down here. For instance, you could include the transitive broaders or the top concepts and things like that. You can also enrich um, the um, results by uh, linked open data sources like uh, DPpedia or Library of Congress subject head headings uh, or virtually any, any other linked open data source. So in that case, we probably go for DPpedia pages. Okay, that's fine. And we'll start the extractor once again and you can see here uh, there's a lot more results what you get is a transitive products those are um, the uh, concepts which are in the hierarchy above of the extracted concepts and those can be used for for instance content categorization so those are the, the um, more elaborated results down here you you can see enrichments you've um, you ha which you have retrieved from the linked open data source you would like to make use of okay so that was a bit more sophisticated results let's take a look on the admissions of uh, so that was the one we've extracted Admission of Alliance. Okay, so what you can see here, actually here, is that's the preferred label of the concept we've extracted. That's up here, Admission of Alliance. You wouldn't find that phrase actually in the text itself. The reason is we, of course, make also use of the synonyms we've got in the uh, thesaurus. So the synonym of admission of alliance is a tourist visa, for instance, and somewhere in the text here, in the original text, you can find the phrase tourist visa. And that's the reason we've extracted this concept with the preferred label, which is um, um, exposed here in the results. Okay, so that's the um, extractor, basically. Um, now I would like to show you the actual result you probably would uh, make use of because usually it's an as I've said before an application which will make use of that service so it's an HTTP REST full call you can see here already the result um, how does it look like it's it's just the, the pool party server and uh, the text of course itself is the most important parameter of this service. Going back here, you see there is also the um, unique key of the thesaurus or the extractor necessary, and then all the other parameters we've just set before in the in the in the form like how many concepts you would like to have, how many terms if you would like to have an enrichment, and also a bit further here you can say which language and which format it should be. So. Let's do that and here that's the result um, so you can see it's actually an RDF SCOS graph which will be returned and now a very interesting thing comes in of course you can make use of that directly for instance to uh, facilitate the uh, annotation process but you could also uh, store the um, results in a uh, in a virtuoso quad store so what what is the result actually 
if you make use of the PPX, the pool party extractor, to annotate and classify incoming text on top of a Desaros like Eurowalk, you will transform all this kind of text into uh, an RDF SCOS graph, which can be stored in a large quad store or triple store like Virtuoso. And from there on, you can do queries over or across various sources, repositories, content repositories, um, to um, execute those queries to build mashups on the fly. For instance, if you want to produce topic pages or landing pages to certain concepts of your desires, like you would like to see all the content you've got for a concept like um, international relations and things like that. So you can do that with means of making use of a Desaro service and an extraction service which makes use of linked data, URIs and standards like RDF and SCOS. So that's the basic idea. Going back to this picture, we can store all input data which was transformed into RDF into a linked data warehouse and from here on we can um, deliver semantic search services, um, we can deliver linked data as a service, linked data mashups and things like that. So that's the basic idea of the pool party semantic suite and I hope I have explained a bit more how the entity extractor, extractor works like and yeah, hope you enjoyed this little video. Thank you.